Hello and welcome to another spoiler edition. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. We got we had two Nilfgaard cards today. It's the spice, right guys? Twitch chat there, YouTube fam, you're watching now, and it's gonna be great. So let's go ahead and take it down. We got two cards, and I'll be honest, I've only read this one. So I'm familiar with some thoughts here, and the next one, totally surprised. I have no idea what it does. Let's do it. First one, it looks to be the legendary for Nilfgaard in this final round, the Harvest of Sorrow expansion. Vilgefort's Renegade, Human Mage, Human Mage Agent, 6 for 13. Swap a card from your opponent's graveyard with a card in your hand. Mine goes a couple places with this one. First, obviously, the Echo cards. Grabbing things your opponents want from your graveyard, like Orneromancy Q, popping in your hand, and then putting something of useless value into your opponent's graveyard. Here, I will take that Orneromancy second charge, and why don't you have a Q? Also, I'm not even second charge, because it, it only gets doomed after the Echo triggers, so you just get an Orneromancy, which is sick. Right? It's pretty, pretty darn good. Vilgefort's looking hot. I'm pretty sure it looks a little bit hotter in the other version of the card. That's really interesting. It is a really powerful graveyard punish. Trying to use something greedy, maybe, or even if you get like some just like a Gonsian and brick their Mamuna, that is pretty darn good. Now, the, the 13 is really expensive. So I think a lot, my mind's thinking about this card is, what is the meta, right? Are there good echo cards to steal? Is there good stuff to steal in general? As well as, what can I leave them to get value? So let's go ahead and pop over to the deck builder real fast. You can see I'm well prepared. There we go. Now we're getting in. Close to a ghost. Good to see you here. Uh, and okay, let's take a look here. So the first two cards that come to mind is, first is Viper. Oh yeah, baby. Not in a normal Viper deck, but just as a card to run in Elf card. Why? Seven for eight is okay stats if you get the carryover. And what you would do is you put Viper in the grave early on, instantly get seven points, meaning Vilgefort's Renegade would be a 13 for 13. And Viper would ideally have time to eat the rest of their graveyard. If you're eating up the graveyard, hey, you might be able to purify it or get carryover for another round. And if we go to Nilfgaard, Nilfgaard actually has one of the best purifies in the game in the form of Imperial Diviner. It's a purify and an engine on top of it, which is a lot better than pretty much any other purify in the game. Also, Cutbear, pretty darn good as well with it. Both of those catch my, that catches my eye in a really meaningful way. Are two good purifies here, and you put the Viper in the grave. 13 for 13, Yoink and Renormancy is an insane, insane swing in power. Do I think it's good? Eh, a little sus. It also triggers a simulate with whatever it steals. Is it gonna break the meta? No. Is it a good card to have in the game? Yes, this is my kind of card. It's creative, it's interesting, and encourages you to do weird things. The other card that caught my eye Let's go back to Nilfgaard. All right, buddy. Yeah, good little Vidifer here. Var Vidifer. Uh, in the sense of, he's a three for six. Take one of your top, you look at your opponent's top of their deck, pick their best card, shove it in the grade, and then yoink it. It's pretty strong. Helps you ensure that you're getting a powerful, powerful card to steal. Additionally, let's say I ended up using Viper, stole something from round one. Vidifer is also generally just a good throwaway card. I need a, some kind of throwaway in round two. And well, if I get the Vidifer, I get kind of pseudo carryover, almost like a reverse Maxi. While I can't make my draws better with Maxi, I have a good chance of making my opponents worse. I also now, they patched it a while ago, you can opt out of getting rid of a card. I believe you just click Confirm Choice. I believe they actually finally added that in to Purport of Vidifer. So you can also say, eh, I don't like any of the options. They're all trash on top. Keep it. So all in all, I really think that eh, it seems like there's some potential. Seems like some potential. Like the card, though. This is the type of design that gets me really excited. It's weird. It's interesting. It can enable new strategies. I like it. Uh, anything else worth noting? No, it's, it's probably too expensive. I think the mage and agent tags you should keep an eye on. Every single agent makes false Siri better. False Siri is low key. This four for six plus a bone talisman for agents. Keep an eye on her. Anytime I see more agents being added to the game, it's, uh, I guess it makes my senses tingle a little bit bad now if we click over to the new card i have not read this card let's see what we got imperial practitioner it's a mage because everything is a mage love it five for five good value assimilate also good value so you're competing with the mage torture slot the imperial diviner slot and slave hunter order spawn a base copy of the last card that went to the top of your opponent's grave wait what went to your opponent's graveyard the top of your deck oh what the heck that card's good 
spawn a base copy of the last card that went to your opponent's graveyard. The top of your deck? What? What? Am I reading this right? Spawn a base copy. Went to your opponent's graveyard on top of your deck? Whoa! That's really dangerous. I can't believe they put that on a card. It's, it's literally a 5 for 5 engine. And they, you already can run 5 for 5 engines with Assimilate anyways. My, you can see my hair gets really ruffled when I get crazier. It's a 5 for 5 engine that basically says your opponent can't play gold cards if they don't kill it. Yes, and it definitely includes gold cards. So if I play this in round one, round one play, if you don't have removal immediately for it, you're locked out of golds for the entire round. Because I get to steal your gold for no real cost, have an engine on the board, so it's a fine opening play, no deploy effects, and I can just yoink your golds. Wait, what? What? This card's insane. Even if I'm stuck in a short round three, I just play. I mean, I guess short round three is the only time it's bad. But it is so darn good in every other round. It's a five for five. I can just dead man's tongue in round two if I really don't get it right. I don't think you want. I don't think you want to go as far as the teleporter here, McRandar, because it's order. It's not. It doesn't have a good deploy. That seems strong. I would have chat reacting here. The card's broken. Puzzle Express. Welcome, first time in the chat. I see. This seems nuts. What else can I do to abuse it? Last card that went to your opponent's graveyard on top of your deck. I mean, you also, going back to that Vidifer call out, you can play Vidifer, pick the best of their top three cards, and then click it and just yoink copies of it. Wow. Wow. How does it work for the rounds? I probably, I'm guessing it's round contained. If it's not round contained, that's even better. Crozer with the host. Crozer, welcome, my friend. How have you been? Welcome back. How's it going? This card's insane. Yeah, hold on. Vilgo Ford's Renegade. This is the kind of card I'm happy to see in the game because it enables stuff. This is the kind of stuff or it's kind of card that makes me really nervous because it enables stuff. It's pretty darn degenerate. Also, I can get more vipers. I will say low key, the idea of getting I can't can I get more vipers? Nah, I guess I really can't get more vipers. I was hoping if I find a way to shove a viper in my opponent's grave. Nah. It's not worth it. How can I? When this card will get locked every time it gets played, short friend, that's a read on it, but it's only for Nilfgaard versus Nilfgaard mirror matchups you can do it, and Assimilate also happens to pack the best Purify probably in the game in the form of Imperial Diviner. So, like, I don't think you're going to have locks and stuff to really deal with this. That's insane. How do you know, Puzzle Express? Thank you for that. Uh, low-key, low-key, Twitch tells me who's new to the chat. <laughs> this is not nearly as impressive. Love you, too. Let's see. Art is cool. I love the art. Art's really good. Art, art, art for both these cards is great. I like them. But man, this card is scary. Wait, this is misspelled? Dramatic Fool, which card is wrong? It's Practitioner, not spelled that. Practice. Oh, wait, is Practitioner spelled wrong? Practice. Isn't it missing something? You sure? I don't know. Spelling overrated. I don't think you have to even put no i think mcgrandar you're even you're even going further you don't have to put this blind defender it's there's no investment for this card that's why it's so good if this was eight here i would get it and then i would say maybe i should run this with uh defender like fion's already pretty good in assimilate because fion does proc assimilate but it's a five so screw protecting it i play imperial practitioner i basically say give me your good removal or i'm gonna go probably win the game off this card Wow. Wow. Yeah, but I don't need zeal, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Here's what you're thinking wrong. Here's what you're thinking wrong. So let's let's use Dick Builder example. Let's use um let's keep on Nilfgaard here and let's save the word order. So pause. You don't need to protect cards like Turncoat here because she's a low, low card for in terms of investment, right? If so if you spend a nature's review killing this. And you don't have something that nature's rebuke is buffering or symbiosis i'm probably making the better deal here right i'm trading four provision for five we both get some setups like a nature's rebuke would set up the force protector am i spying sets up something like terra nova for later but i'm probably winning that trade because i'm getting one more provision in my deck i protect things like stefan because i'm getting this huge splashy powerful um effect not a lot of points here so they kill it with nature's rebuke they're trading up pretty aggressively on provision I have to protect you because your order and I'm sinking nine provisions here. It'd be like a netting of four provisions. And obviously if I'm trading really well on provisions, the rest of my cards that are left in my deck are going to be really strong compared to what's left in my opponent's deck. 
However, look at this card, right? So this card has the ability to potentially just straight up winning you the game, stealing or near Mancy, and then proc assimilate off the steal twice. Like, that's insane. But I don't need to commit anything to Defender. Defenders are really weak cards. Going back to the deck builder and popping back before. Let's go to Defender. Let's go to Defender in general here. If you look at these, these points are not a lot. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, and 7. Now, some of them could proc extra things. Hey, this can help me get Sabbath faster. Hey, I can get multiple things of the buff of Gellert. Hey, I can get more dwarves for uh, for the different dwarf cards, like uh, Hoog, right? Like I have a Rowdy Dwarf for Zoltan Warrior. Beyond can proc assimilate, but really, like most of the time, they're around seven points. Your Practitioner is a five for five that can be well more than it because it has assimilate on top of its incredible order ability that steals a good gold card, goes way up on provisions, and proc assimilate. That's insane. I love it. Isn't the new Vilgefort's card underwhelming? Maybe Nox Frags. It's a good design. This card is better designed than this. This should not have the assimilate tag. You should kill the assimilate tag here immediately. It's way too strong for the assimilate tag. Assuming, yeah, I, I, assimilate needs to not be here. That way you have an interesting choice of how many cards do you want to potentially proc assimilate and at a high level. Like you steal a gold is really good. If it dies immediately, you might be short on assimilate procs. Uh, likewise, it's like that's where I think you obviously can fix this. This card here is just good for the game. Underwhelming, sure, 6 for uh, 13, but it's also cool stuff I can do with, with a Dipher. It's cool to do things with something like Coup. It's also really cool. Let's see. You can also take something from your hand, give it to your opponent's graveyard, then click this to immediately spawn a copy of it on top of your deck. So I can give you something I want multiple copies of and get two copies of it for next round. Low key. Fun interactions. Like, I like what Vilgefort's running gate enables. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's broken, but these are the kind of cards I enjoy having in Gwent. It enables me to do fun stuff. This is insane. So, well, no, this, this card, this card friends are near for our opponent. This card, it gets me extra near Mancy's. Catching up. Why is this card not gold? I don't know. You could put this as a seven in gold, and I think it would still see play, to be blunt. This card's really nuts. These should be, so to see. Um, practitioner. Yeah, I think the free. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this C should be a T, but that's okay. Unless it's like some alternate spelling. Uh, let's see. Let's catch up with the chat here. Try to get some more reactions. I'm a little bit behind. Uh, DVM Twitch. First time here. Welcome. New card. Art does not, boring backgrounds. Fits the Gwen style. Yeah, I like the new card arts here. The rest of the art reveals are disappointing. Things get better. I think it's fine. I think they're. I think they're getting better and better about the art, and I think they've realized how much they value it. No, no, I'm not the biggest fan of Vilgefort's Renegade art, though. He is. Uh, handsome lad i think this is the kind of art i associate with gwent and i like this feel it's dark it's grim you can see he's working hard on something i like it last unit instead of last card i don't think last unit versus card makes too too much of a difference because most people run gold units in every deck so it should be valuable a five for five is insane yeah hydra i think four for five could have been at least a reasonable starting point but even at a four for five i still think it's probably maybe the best assimilate card printed Rathens and Terra Nova will be better, but besides that, definitely best bronze assimilate by far. The Nuff Guard reveals. Uh, hang in there, Symmetry. Man, Nuff Guard is mean, but it's good. So my engines are, are, are were always useless, and I can run them. Yeah, I don't have to really trade much here, right? Which is pretty nuts. Double ball, two copies of this card. Ooh, fun. Yeah, you could do... I wonder how that would work, because it has Doomed, right? So if I give you a ball, will I trigger two balls copies off? I don't know. We could do some dumb stuff here. DMV Twitch, welcome to the Plain Talk family. I'm glad you're joining us here today as we pick some apples from an apple tree. Welcome aboard. Like we see, check out the socials up above YouTube, Discord, Twitter, popping hot, fresh. Welcome aboard. These, these two will be fun to play together for just meme things. It's going to get two copies of stuff. But this card itself is insane. I'm getting the same vibes I got when I saw cards like um, Kadutch being printed. And I was like, wow, that card is really strong. Because Kadutch used to be heal three, the full heal the Bear Witchers. And it was just such an insane amount of value. At least back in the day, back in the day, back in those days. Uh, catching up, megascoping practitioner. I don't think it's worth megascoping. It still is just an engine. And once you start megascoping it, you have to wait a couple turns. Your opponent can see it coming. 13 provisions too high. Yeah, I mean, you can make this card competitive or not. Again, what matters here is not so much the numbers. Numbers, they affect the next month, but that's about it. After that, they can always bounce patch it. But you want to be thinking here as a design. This design is awesome. I can knock it to 12, 11 if I want it to be playable or not. It also, later on, has cool synergies that can be played with it. Hey, 
Viper is an obvious one. What else can I do with it? And in six months with another three card drops and maybe one or two bonus cards along the way, you could do some really cool stuff with it. This card is dangerous as heck and way busted. Way busted. Exactly, McCran. There are, I, I, it'd be interesting if I can get multiple scenarios by getting two of these down or three of these down and then that. Because I could also see a world where I like operator and just start getting like 10 of these down. Play Vilgoforts Renegade and get like five balls on top of my deck. And I would have a lot of fun with that. I would have some stupid fun memories of that. Both of them are good for your Viper meme. Um, not really. I don't think Viper means the right way to go. I think this is just good for Viper, period. Like, Vilgoforts Renegade helps enable you to run Viper because I can play, give you a Viper, get my Viper immediately. I get more Viper copies. Maybe you could do some like normal Viper stuff, but eh, I don't think it's the right way to go. PR Practitioner looks insane though. All right, catching up. You guys are flying here, trying to get more reactions from the chat. Hmm. Tempo, this. Round one. Yeah, this yeah, are you talking about Imperial Practitioner? This just makes it so your opponent can't play gold cards round one. You just run Vidifer, right? Run Vidifer is insane. Pick the top three of your opponent's deck and get two copies of it if you want it with no downside. It's great. And like let's just do hey, Shrek Sword Eye, good to see you here. Hmm. Isn't it strong in Viper Witch Mentor? Getting a strong gold for five? Yeah, it's 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 so much better. I think this is arguably better than Viper Witch Mentor, even in Adrenaline Three. So like, look at this thing, right? If I play, like, if I do assimilate, right now we're, people are running an assimilate. Like people run Slave Hunters, right? So like, this is the best comparison. Slave Hunter is a deal two damage four for five. This is a five for five that can get you a potentially an Ornier Mancy. Mage Torture is a 5 for 5, enables things like the Turncoat, enables things like Terra Nova, but it's still 5 for 5 Assimilate is a fine card. Can get to become a lot of points. That card's insane. I also think it's really important to be considering if I discard stuff, what I can get multiple copies of it. So I can double the amount of copies of any card I put in your grave. So do I want multiple Terra Novas? Sure. Multiple Yenvos? Yeah, I'll discard Yenvo and go from there. I can also do stuff like uh, give you just give you a Vilga for it and then blue I can blue dream I think gold cards is that blue dreaming blue cards uh gold cards a thing yep I can blue dream the Vilga for it and then get my other two copies of Vilga for on top of my deck like that's not is that good no is it Mimi and hilarious sure right do I want to have triple Colgrim sure why would I want that I don't know it'd be fun though like that is it, it catches my eye catches my eye here Yes, I can copy a gold card. Copy a gold card. That's why it's insane. That's why Imperial Practitioner is insane. Is it stronger than any other card that was printed in the last expansion? That is quickly becoming the question on my mind. You think this will be... I'm going to tell you, Gustavo, I would bet you by the end of next patch, you will all, unless the card buffing they do is insane next patch, you will all, or the rest of the reveals are insane, you're all going to look at this card and you will hate this thing. You will see this card and every bone in your body will be like, you monster. How dare you? I'm telling you guys, this card's nuts. This card is the nuts. Now let's go ahead. I want to, can I go back in time and see Price of Power spoilers? Let's see what other cards. So let's try to get, no, no, I want, I want older than this. Where do I have to go for that? I don't care about Harvest of, um, that structure. Here we go. Let's take a look. Better than all of these. Maybe ballparking Terra Nova in terms of strength. I don't think it's or I don't know if it's at orb level. And I don't know if it's at Elven Seer. I mean these cards are nuts. Yeah, they're. But these ones I think are all gonna be on the chopping block, so I don't think they'll be enjoying themselves much longer. Definitely better than everything Skelgo got last patch by far. Is it better than OG self eater? That that is for me. Oh, and let's do six for six. They updated the powers here, but is it better than OG self eater? It might be. It might be. I'd be really careful, guys. Calling it now. Calling it now that every one of you will hate this card. Every one of you will hate this card. Who? No, I don't think it's not going to be Practitioner of Cantarella. Because Cantarella just plays your opponent's card, right? So, like, in Mildex, I think Mildex will really enjoy this card. I think Mildex will very much like this card. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, you guys, if you guys don't have to like this one, 
I think this card here is insane. Vilgefort's Renegade? Fine. I'm glad this design is in the game. This card, my take is... Card's insane. Card is insane. No, guys, you aren't thinking about this right. You guys aren't thinking about this right. Guys, what you need to be thinking about is if your opponent has Imperial Practitioner out, you can't play any gold units because if they have the removal, they can kill your unit and then immediately click it. Uh, it also makes it so you can't play any gold spells because if you can't kill this, then it will immediately click it and I get more stuff. And all these golds you steal also trigger Assimilate. So my Terra Novas and Brathens are all going to proc. If you have an Imperial Practitioner down, you're basically saying to my your opponent, you can't play gold cards unless you want, are comfortable with me having a copy of them. That's it, right? That's what I'm saying. And if you let, if you try to play all browns, uh, bronze cards, all bronze, you're not going to play anything important. I can either play Vidifer and look at the top of your deck and get my golds of choice at the end of the round, or, or I just don't ever use the ability and it's a five for five assimilate, which is pretty darn good, which is pretty darn good. If I had no assimilate, very different reaction. It has assimilate though, meaning there isn't an answer to it. Android subculture, I can bleed round two and just lean into Joachim, Terra Nova, and Braffins for a short round. Or, or I can also play round three, use the, kill one of your best units, click this, put it on top of my deck, and then play Joachim to get a guaranteed gold off the top. I, I think you guys are underestimating this card. I have high, sky high hopes for this card. There are like, look at, look, 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 I'll make you the deck. I will make you guys the deck. It'll take me two seconds. You guys ready for this? Do, 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 do. Give me that imprisonment. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm going to use Slave Hunters as the proxies here because obviously better. Da, 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 do I want the four assimilates? Eh, maybe I do want the four. Uh, actually, one. Let's get the other obvious ones. Imperial diplomacies. Um, let's get the spine cards in here. Give me a pair of you guys, and maybe a fur card. There we go. Uh, what else do I want in my very quickly becoming busted deck here? Oh, you know, you know, I'll, I'll double some purify here. Do I want ball in this deck? Maybe I won't do ball. Oh, locations. Forgot about Gorther. Thank you guys all. Thank you guys all for the reminder. Oh, what else? We got 32 to work with, guys. Not too shabby, right? Remedy. Oh, yeah, we could, we could do an experimental remedy. It's always a good throwaway card. We can just take what we want. Bribery. You guys want some bribery in here? Sure. We're going to 19 to work with here. We, we, we haven't, we've got to get Yenvo in here. Um, we have 10 to work with. I would, I would love a good removal card. That way, if we get into round three, I can always steal something from theirs. Where are you? You know what? You know who's going to be? It's going to be Leo. Give me that Leo. All right, there we go. So let's talk about this deck, shall we? And I will take Magic Lamp. Oh, Vincent. Vincent's better than Leo. Yep, that's a good call because I can always lock him in Vincent. I don't have to gamble on you going tall. Where am I, Vincent, my boy? Here we go. Let's go ahead and talk about this. Ready? Five five assimilate without any ability to still run it and assimilate. Let's take a let's take a meander. I don't know if I go that far, cordial, because uh slave hunter exists, but slave hunter being pure practitioners. I want you to all look at this deck and feel how playing against this would feel right now. Do you want to give me a so I get all the good point slamming here? We got quad Yoakim. Now it's not perfect. Terra Nova is a bad hit if we run into it, but it's unlikely. We got that quad Yoakim shenaniganry. We're gonna get really tall going. We have easy assimilate engine setup here. We got the double Imperial Diplomacy. That way, if you do something silly like play Sinless, I can always coup for the double the Imperial Diplomacy. Yeah, I don't even need Vidifer in this deck because I can always go ahead and maybe Yen. We could also swap out Invo here. We can get that Vilgefortz going if we wanted to instead. Maybe that's better. And uh, if we just look at it, let's just take our time, right? We got a ton of points. Great round control. Very easy to get our opponent's stuff, steal their interactions here. And if we want, if we're saying, you know what, John, we're not, we're not really getting the results we need. Great. All I can do is kick out a uh, experimental remedy, diviner. I can always get a diaper in here. I don't even know if we need to go that far. Let's go and get back in what I had previously. 
Because the benefit is of this list. So what did I kick out? I did the remedy and what did I do? I kicked the remedy and there's one other seven I kicked just for an example. Or are you my seven costed something or another? Oh no, five costed. It was the diviner. It was diviner. So let's talk about this even further, right? So I don't really need to necess necessarily even worry about Vidifer. Why? Because I'm going to just kill your stuff when it comes down. Imprisonment. Two. Vincent. I don't, it's like if I kill what you play, any of these options, then it, it's fine, right? Like it's, we're going to be able to play it again anyways. Vilgoforts, kill, you know, play your, play your Simless. Great. Vilgoforts, kill it. Give me a copy of Simless. Now I'm set up for a next round of double Imperial Diplomacy. I don't think Blightmaker is the right way. Ah, maybe because they're really Blightmaker makes it a little tough to the Mage Assassins. Put in a Viper, not in this deck. If I was running uh Vilgoforts, if I was running some Vilgoforts Renegade shenanigans, probably but I, or, uh, Viper would make it. But like, feel good, Daddy Vincent. Vincent Vilgoforts can guarantee me. I just click, kill your thing, and I click my button, and all of a sudden it's on top of my deck. Remember, it's not a deploy, guys. Not a deploy. It's an order ability. I can let it just sit there, saying, "Hey, if you play a gold spell, I just click it and I steal it." You play gold unit and I kill it, and then I click it immediately, I steal it. Right? Remember, it is. Let me move it on here so it looks like I'm looking at you guys on my other screen over there. Look, remember, it is spawn a base copy of the last card, not that your opponent played, the last card that went into your opponent's graveyard on the top of your deck. Ooh, insane. Oh. No, order is really strong here, Giga Unlucky. Because if you don't answer this, then you can't play gold. Uh, you can't play gold, good gold orders in the game. Change it last unit. Sure, of course they'd make it more uh, bounce Sephi Dios in terms of it gets you a step closer to restricting it. The answer is kick the assimilate tag to the curb. Make it a card that if you see it and play around it, you're fine. But you're not going to get punished for not answering it because of assimilate, right? Five for five, unanswered, but you, you either a five for five that adjusts your play is okay. A five for five that adjusts your play, and also if you don't answer it because you're adjusting your play to try to play around it, still gets an engine. Little iffy. And you're gonna have two in the deck, two in the deck. Thus, I mean, I hope uh, you guys enjoy it. And if you guys like my review or disagree, let me in the comments below. Thank you all so much. Shout out to pseudoname81, Ahmed Ali, and McRandar for their unbelievably extraordinary, wonderful support on Patreon.